Hello everyone, welcome to the next video in the Terraform with Azure series and today we'll be talking about the variables. Well, uh, variables are something very important and uh, it will make your code shareable and you can reuse it and uh, there's a lot of things where you want to define in the variables so that you can call them again and again and, and uh, those values would be the hard code values for your environment so there are so many uh, usage of the variables whenever you write a code so there are multiple ways you can define a variable under this hashicorp.com you'll find this article where it would show you you can define as as a command line flags you can define it as a uh, tf vars file the multiple ways the best way that uh, i prefer or i do i create a variable.tf files here i define the variable and the values of the variables are defined in the terraform.tf vars and main.tf is something where we write the code and we'll be calling the variables from this file it would be automatic terraform will take care of that part if you want to define as a command line you can define it that as well but this is the best way that we do in our organization and this is what we'll be covering today so we'll be defining variable in a separate file named variable.tf the values of the variables would be defined in terraform.tf bars and main.tf is the file where we'll be we have the main code for the infrastructure and we'll be calling the variables from this file variable.tf so before we go ahead and talk about this code and rebuild it uh, let's check the kinds of a variable that we will encounter quite often for example this is the variable resource this is just a simple string the default default value is rg2 that means if i call this variable under main.tf file here this is the <coughs> uh, sign or this is the structure by which we call a variable there would be a quotation dollar and squigglies this curly braces you would type var dot name of the variable var represent the variable what is the name of the variable you can see here it's resource uh, underscore group so this is the name of the variable now its value is what is defined in the variable.tf here it is defined rg2 that means if i do not define any value under the value file of ours that is terraform.tfrs this one here i have defined tfrg1 that means it will pick this value because it has defined and it will ignore the default value if i remove this code from here it will choose or it will opt for the default value good so uh, that is a simple string variable now we have map variable which is a key value so if you choose this location one it will give us the east us value and there is one more which is list which is very useful variable which is which is kind of array and you can call it with the help of indexing these are some important array here and uh, sorry important variables here there are many more but i just pick the uh, few which are very useful and we encounter very often there is a boolean there which will give you true and false and other information you can easily go ahead and grab it from the terraform.io so let's talk about our code here main.tf and this code i have not returned manually but i have copied it from the terraform.io as i already informed something which has already been written do not waste your time to write it again and all the code is there in the terraform.io i looked for the virtual network this is the virtual network code and uh, let's not talk let's not get into the code right now this video is for variables 
and just to show you how to define a variable so a string is very simple you need to type var dot name of the variable it shows right here okay and I'll show you if you do it it will give you the options visual code will give you the options for example name the like this this is quotation dollar curly braces this is what we in Terraform language this is interpolation and this is how we call a variable now it will give you the option if you type war dot it's giving you all the variables which are defined here we need a resource group so let's click on the resource group see it's that simple but because this was the string so you only need war dot resource group what is the value of the resource group under variable it is rg2 that is a default value and we have defined under terraform.tf wars the value that we want for this so if we go with this code we keep on defining values in the terraform.tf wars suppose if we have built the entire code the only thing that we need to change is the values here we can give the value to the vnet name vnet id cider value subnet value the only thing that you need to change when you are reusing this code is the terraform.tfrs values hope that makes sense let's talk about other variable that is a map variable which is key value so how we define it in the main file so here we are defining in the main file location so we need to do the same thing that we did before what was that it was quotation dollar squigglies we need war dot which one we already it, it is uh, showing here already locations but it is not a string so it will not pick it like that so you need to open the square brackets quotations and type what you want we need location one so it will show you location one all right that's how you call a map variable now we have one more variable which is a list let's see how we call a list now to create a subnet we should have the virtual network so we are not going through this code virtual network we are only going through the subnet subnet name is subnet1 and address prefix is same code quotation dollar bar dot subnet and zero this is the index zero so it will call which list the first one similarly if we go for subnet two it will call which one the second one because this is one it starts with zero right so that's how it is it is very simple need to do it again let me show you again need to type this very simple code here dollar squigglies or curly braces type war for variable dot subnet for the subnet variable now what we need we need other part of the list the second part of the list so one that's how the variables are called in the code I'll show you let me open the terminal here new terminal I'll show you the other stuff as well let me call terraform in it it will initiate it it is initiated let me clear it and terraform plan no need to deploy we can only uh, get the information from the plan itself so we'll deploy it later let's try to understand the variables in terraform.tfrs where we put the values okay it will give us all the options so we would understand so right now it is going to deploy two resources one is the resource group okay here it is you see resource group is tfrg1 all right and let's see the subnets subnet is 
right here. One and two. Got it? And you may be wondering why it is showing tfrg1 though variable shows rg2 because i told you the value is defined here right here if you want you can delete this part save it save it and recall the code this time it should terraform plan it should go for rg-2 instead of tfrg1 because that value was defined in terraform.tfors all right it's it will show us the value there you go you can see here right now all right very good now let's talk about the code a little bit so we covered the variables in terraform.tfvars. Now let's talk about the code. So in this first chunk of the code, first chunk of the code, it was resource type and name. It, the resource type is Azure RM resource group. Now, with the help of interpolation, we can call the variable and we can also call the code which is already defined in the file. For example, virtual network. We need, when we create a virtual network, we should have the resource group. How can we define which resource group? So we are calling this resource group because we are defining Azure RM underscore zero underscore group dot RG. This is the name we have given to this resource type. So we have RG here and the name value. That means this resource group is the name of this resource group would be defined here. So this virtual network would define will, will be will be created inside this resource group. It is very simple. Even the let me read and redo for you. Same sign for the interpolation like this. Now, what is the name of the resource group for the virtual network? Right. This is what we need to define here, and we want this resource group that is defined early in the code so what we do we're gonna call this resource group like azure see the code itself showing you the hair yes this now this part would say we are talking about this code but what we need from this code we need the name so we type dot name Similarly, if you need the location, we call location like in the above part. Everything is same, dot location. So this is what the interpolation is. And that's how you call code from inside the code or variable. All right. So uh, that's all about it. I hope it would be a learning experience for you. And let's meet you in another video. Thank you. Thank you for watching.